Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Game on, where we drop our PS5 controllers on the ground. I'm just kidding. Uh, where we keep on gaming on. I'm lucky. We had a hell of a time last episode on Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Fighting the Griffin, south of Grand Soren. Didn't want to continue fighting us. Ran away to the Blue Moon Tower, which is way north. And we are finally at the Blue Moon Tower. Took us most of the last episode to get out here in the dark, fighting everything. Everything was overpowered. It was a grind. Um, and we're out of stamina items. We've got a few health items left. We're going to go ahead and continue and fight the griffin in here. And we'll just see what happens. Hopefully we can take it down without too much trouble. Um, I'm very confident we can take it down. Is the griffin's hold. Uh, can we take it down efficiently? Without making it a long slog, and I'm out of oil for my lantern. I've got no light. Hunting party fares well. Aye, aye. Let's hurry what are you up. Okay. Doing? Let's see what these Fight. guys are up to. Snow Hoppy! We lost a number of men. Lisa, go to the raid. Please give me some oil. Well, hold on a second. One thing I need to start doing is looking in the inventory of my pawns and seeing malignants. That's the name of that sword. That sword's awesome, dude. Too bad I can't take it from him. He's got nothing. Neither does he, because they just showed up. Meniscus. We gotta try to find some oil just so we have light. Chimeric Sebastians. One. So whenever we have heartbeats, we want to use the triangle or the from the sky one. Burn their wings. Ah. Now that we're inside the Blue Moon Town, these guys are much more our level. Even this guy's level. Yeah, he's just taking it. I kind of tell by their experience, too, if it's like 700 experience, 800 experience, they're pretty high level. This guy. Unsigned letter, a letter of unknown origin that contains but one phrase, let the arisen, let the arisen's only peace be death. It's a quest item. I forgot when I got that. Wow, I didn't realize I picked up this annealed pail, a grease-mounted pail that doses whatever it strikes in oil. That's cool. And we did know we picked these up. Chimeric sabatons, metal boots that call to mind the mighty chimera, but we can't wear them. It's okay. Um, do I have anything to raise my physical debilitations? Or to erase my physical debilitations? I thought I did have a few of those. There they are. I'm still asleep. Restore some health. Cures all debilitations. Let's do that. There we go. That move is very similar to Burst Strike, which was the fighter's move that I used all the time in the very first playthrough. Um, it's pretty much my get out of jail free card. Because if auto locks on it, it delivers a blow that staggers them. And you can just spam it like I do sometimes when I get in trouble. Like if I do this over and over, it'll just auto lock and automatically spam it over and over. they can hit me while I'm in the middle of it. And just like that, see, we destroyed them. So I think it's kind of like cheesy and tough to ask to do that, so I don't like doing that. Oh, hey. What are you doing over here? What are you guarding? Yeah. Shut up. I actually didn't have fire damage on these two. So that's just the entrance. It's guarding a blade leaf. Oil. Oh. I don't have any empty flasks. Dude, 
that's so lame. The trooper outfit, okay, we'll go. Oh, they hold the advantage. Rift fragment, if you lose like that. You need but consult your map. You need but consult your map. There's definitely death down there. But what's over there? Anything? I wonder. And then what was back here? Oh, see, this is one of those games, man. Harps my juice. Okay, there's just some juice over here. There is stuff all over. Like, what's this over here? That double jump makes platforming so easy. Okay, we definitely can't go over there. We definitely aren't supposed to go up there. Because they're not letting us grab it. So, let's go back. Okay. Oh. I won't even let me grab that. There we go. So you could jump so far with that double jump. So high. Okay, those guys are continuing on. We better go. They're not waiting for us. We're coming. We will avenge you, sir. Get out of the poison. Get out of the poison, dude. Yeah. Here. Boom. Get rid of that. Takes fire. Well, at least we're getting some daylight so we can see something. God damn it. Into the dark. That was wild for a while. Oh, oh, is that gonna be an automatic kill? Oh, oh. Yeah, got him. <laughs> Well. It spawned the mage first. I thought they were all going to spawn at once, so I was just kind of sitting there waiting. One of my strategies in this game is always take out the ranged foes and the mages first, especially the mages. They can just start doing some unholy damage to you. Grab that. I get over there on that? I don't think I can. I, don't know, I could probably jump over there, but I don't think I can get back. Uh, no! No! That was a mistake. Oh, but it's into the brine. <laughs> Damn it. We've died once so far in this game. And we're not dying again. And I don't count the times you wake up with a wake shard, because that's not a real death. No, wait, I did use a wake shard that time, and it was a real death, I'm counting it. So, okay. I guess in that regard, since I counted that one as a real death, we're gonna have to count any of the ones as a real death. Which is more honest, I feel like, anyways. Like, if I didn't have that wake stone shard, it would've been over, so. We'd had to go back to the last checkpoint, lost all my progress. Oh, and that sent me all the way back down there. Man, you talk about a hell of a quest. The quest in these games, in these old school RPGs, I call them old school. 2012 is old school now, guys. It's 11 years ago. I mean, think about that. Think about what we've done in this Griffin quest. We've got to fight the Griffin in two different places on exact opposite ends of the map. Yeah, I'm getting there. There he is. Finally see him. Help me! Ruby ran up the tower stair! Quickly! Come on. 
like hit him with some magic or maybe oh no see we're not supposed to be fighting him that's why we're supposed to be running <laughs> And then he probably just attacks us as we go here. Don't stop! We're exposed here! Don't stop! I'm gonna go up this way. What if I go this way? go this way to open that gate because it looks like they're not getting through it. I'm coming. I'm coming, guys. Delicious or stamina brew. That's that's health. Vim, liquid vim is what I need. I got one. Okay. Nice way oh, this way okay. Retreat. Oh, this view. We can't change our camera angle. You better hurry up, Alicia or Alcyon. Whoa, she's slow. She's gonna get killed. I'm really fast. See, I can outrace all these guys. That's what I'm on this lick with them. This will restore a bit of help. Oh, yeah. it through. Come, we'll slay it from the roof. Forgive me, my can. a good time to use that liquid vim. I kind of was like bummed out after the fight just ended and then I realized it's nice to have it for running through all this stuff, you know. I wonder if I can buy liquid vim somewhere because I'll buy a ton of those. Nothing really down there. What's down here? Harps mud juice. Okay, we'll take that. Harps mud milk. I keep calling it juice. Oh, well some of them are juice. I guess the smaller ones are juices. Now, health is not really an issue, but stamina is. So, we'll probably just end up eating those for stamina consumption. Okay, Don't give me a secret softener. <laughs> oh, well. Spare monster, a griffin. What's over here first? <gasps> this is treasure chest. Look at that. My instincts knew exactly. Griffin strategy, volume two. Those guys are going to get smoked up there without us. Uh... All right. We made the jump. So let's use that Griffin stuff, Volume 2. Uh, let's give him two of those so he can heal himself. And let's also use the Griffin strategy. Whoops, don't give him that. Use it. Pawns gain knowledge of how to fight the Griffins, and we've got random stuff that doesn't matter. Oh, God. I've learned a new way to push me off the edge, dude. The hell? That's right, remember what I was telling you guys? We recognize him, don't we? Again for your aid, time pass. I have come now to lend my support with the same prize you claim for me. A 
was epic. Let's see how the creature takes to my arcade magic. Yeah, see, we helped him out earlier, so he's coming to assist we'll us. You to that beast. Isn't that a cool cross uh, between the, the, uh, the different quests in the game? But you really don't see that. And how in depth this whole Griffin quest is to even get out here and find him. No. Find the tower, find it different ways. They don't make them like this anymore. <laughs> Now we got him. Come on, guys. We just gotta keep landing on him. Keep landing on him here. No! My fire is low! Yeah! Burn them to us! There we go. Now we're all fired up. Oh, my character is badass, guys. Look at her. Oh, we're just a fireball. Just a rolling fireball. Oh. We keep him lit up. Now where'd he go? I don't mind keeping the fire going, as long as we have enough health items here. This will be enough to finish him. was about 45 minutes, almost an hour for that quest, <clears throat> and I knew what to go and what to do for the most part, and I was pretty good leveled. Somehow, we completed our mission. It was a costly battle, but the Griffin poses a threat no longer. Let's return, Arisen. It was a costly yeah. battle, but the Griffin poses a threat Yeah, I want to talk to the other girl, but it's return. okay. Well, first we're going to raid this whole place. So now we've defeated the Griffin. That was one of the main quests here in the second third of the story. Do you not talk, girl? We brought cures for various ages. They may save our lives. Look closely at the tops of walls in similar spots. There may be places we can climb. Oh, all this gold. Look at that. Look at that. And what's this? So like I said, you got... Oh, Griffic armor. Sweet. We're going to check that out in a minute. But first got to grab everything because your pawns will start just grabbing shit. Like, she'll go open that chest and take that armor. Nope, get out of there. Get the hell out of there. Assassin's Mask. And then if you forget to take it back before you get rid of the pawn, you'll lose it. Take that. What's that? Wow. Oh, and there's a port crystal. I didn't even see that right there. I was looking at all the treasure. Yeah, so right there, I didn't even see how much gold that was. But we got a couple pieces of Griffic armor. Let's look and see what that stuff's like. See if it's any good, if we can even use it. We've got the assassin's hood, and we can... Oh, we can definitely use it, and it looks sick. That makes us look sick. It drops our magic defense down a lot, though. I mean, that's almost 30 points. It's like gnarly. We'll keep the TR for now. The trooper outfit raises and lowers a little bit. That's actually not bad. Uh, what's it look like if we switch to it? Can I see it? Oh, it looks even better. I'm gonna put it on. And we can't wear the graphic armor, so. Can these guys pick anything up? No, not really. Okay. Nice, more gold. Let's see if there's anything else around here we missed. And then we'll walk down the rest of the Blue Moon Tower before we fast travel out of here and just make sure that we got everything. Oh, look at this. There's a whole nother room over here. What's this? Or is that the staircase we came up? I don't know, but we'll go down that side here in a second and just see. Blade Leaf. It would be easier going to learn from this area now. You guys watch out by the edge. You're not, you're not the Arisen. 
See something over there. Oh no! Okay, it just resets me. That's so funny. I wonder if Dragon's Dogma 2 is gonna have the same thing. Okay, so this is the entrance we came in. We've been pretty much all almost all over here. Rusted daggers. Cute, very cute. Well, you've gone and found the griffin. Hey, let's thank our buddy here. Well, did I see the hero racing to the aid of those in peril? So I love how it all ties together. It was happenstance that delivered me. I was tracing the steps of the sorcerer Salomet. They led me here. Upon my arrival, I see you, locked in combat with a griffin. I knew it for a golden opportunity. And I dare say, I stole the show. No need for thanks, sir. No need at all. <laughs> Good for him. The griffin was strong. Will the dragon be stronger still? Then it will be a <coughs> to remember. Good to see you still drawing breath, friend. It seems I too was lucky. Tis a shame it can be said of so. What's he doing over there on the edge? Okay. Let's go ahead. We're gonna start meandering our way down. Foreign knife. Cute. Make sure we gather up all this stuff. Blade leaf. I don't even know what blade leaf is used for, but we'll take it. Yeah, this is where I kind of slow down a little bit and just look. We oh, got a little bit of kindling right there. You see that? And see, like this treasure chest right here. What's in this? Red leather armor. We'll go through all of this stuff here. Let's look at that red leather armor. Ooh, defense goes way down. Lightweight armor fashioned from especially hardened red leather. Cute, but no good to us. We've got a few pieces of the red leather set. We've got a red leather hood, I think, a couple other things. Throat drops, intervene. What's that over there? What's all that business? Can I get through there? No! They hold the advantage! Who? Who? Who are you talking about? Who are Deeb's falling off stuff? Nah, I don't think I can get over there. It's all rubbled off. Mm, some green stuff there. up there? Nope. Intervene. That stuff's nice because it does cure most physical debilitations, so I do like to have it. Oh, here's an empty flask, finally. And if I saw over here, there's an oil jug. Is that water? Oh, well, who cares, because we just broke it, so. gate that was locked. We walked right by it, so. Okay. What's over on this side? Anything? <sighs> yep, there's something over here, see? What's this? What's that? Blade leaf. Oh, and there's a chest right here. Look at that. Jewel of Endurance. What does that even do? Magical gem infused with the power to cure debilitations. Very cute. Okay. So, let's see. Where are we? Or that blade leaf. Oh, and hey, look at that. We can jump right over here. What's this? Light cure. That's really good. Oh, okay, we're into the real treasures now. Assailant's Bracers. 
as well I as Anchor to Heaven. That sounds cool. Oh, but it's not very good at all. A wooden staff in the shape familiar to any mar mariner. In truth, its design is meant to focus magical power. Huh, but it's not as good by far. Minus 70 on strength, minus 10 on magic. Eesh. I don't know if we can use that. These daggers are so much better. We don't need any more of the blade leaves or anything like that. Oh, but we want that gold, right? Gold in all walks of life and games is welcome. So 7,000. Now, is that the only one of those? We'll find out. Nope, there's a chest right here. Look at this. Man, this place has stuff everywhere. Sectional iron plate. I'm sure we cannot use that. Yeah. Iron plate with Grand Soren's seal etched on the shoulder. That is so cool, though. Oof, that is cool. Forgot to look at these. I'm sorry. Sturdy bracers designed not to hinder arm movement. So we can use these, but they're really bad compared to what we have. So we're not going to. Guys, you're going to fall if you don't get away. The Morgenstern... That guy just fell off. <clears throat> a spiked weapon as simple as it is lethal. Quite destructive despite its small size. That's for the Mystic Knight. So, but you've already found the Font of Fire on the way here, so you wouldn't even probably use that. I don't think I did. Oh, this is the level where all the treasure is. There's more gold over here, but I don't really care. We've got tons of gold. I mean, so, <clears throat> as you can see after that initial way I showed you to get 300,000 gold in the second video in this series, you guys should go watch that if you haven't done that yet because it's a really cool trick. You'll never be out of gold. For the basics, things I consider to be the stuff that you need to get, like a Griffic Helm, that thing is so cool. I didn't find that last time. Like mushrooms for stamina and healing items and whatnot, you always have enough money for that. If you go and spend it all, a silver great helm wrought in the form of the noble griffin. Cool. We'll change locations and we'll put on full sets of armor and we'll show you guys all of them. <clears throat> and any of their special abilities and stuff like that later on. Um, but like I was saying, as long as you do that $300,000 gold hack that I showed you in the second episode, you'll always have enough gold for all the little things you need. You may not have enough gold to buy every single item in the game all the time, but you'll have enough gold to buy all the green warish and mushrooms you need and everything like that. Upgrade your weapons and keep up on top of all that stuff. Uh, we need to transfer some stuff to some people. Okay, we're a little bit lighter now. Is that oil? Nope. It's almost night time again. So this journey was basically two days <clears throat> to find the griffin. Can I go over there? I wonder what would happen if I did. I bet you I can double jump to it. Let's save the game just in case it just does something weird. Stop me. Did you see that? There's like an invisible wall I hit at the end of it. Wow, that Brian had tentacles. Did you see that? Ah, uh, Master, you're back. Yeah, I am. And let's fast travel back to Grand Soren. However, I think we want to go back to the entrance and place a port crystal right outside of the Blue Moon Tower. This port crystal that we found. Because I do believe. Then we'll have to come back to this area for something again. At some point. And I want at least out in this section, because uh, this is like a late game area. I guarantee we'll be back out here. 
That way we can just fast travel and not have to do that long ass run again. So this game makes you think like that. You gotta figure, okay, how am I actually going to get back out there next time? You gotta strategically place these port crystals around. And in the original version, they didn't have as many port crystals. I think they had, I don't know, like three or four. And now there's six in the game. And you can get a total of 12 if you play twice through the game. And that's like way more than enough. Yeah, it was like three or four, and you couldn't get more in the second playthrough originally, I believe. A watchtower, perhaps. But watching over what? Man, it looks way different in the daylight. Look at that thing. Sure is imposing. Okay, so let's put this port crystal down here. Take there that. you go, so we can always come back. Yeah. Alright, let's head back to Grand Soren, guys. We'll turn this quest in, we'll probably end the episode after that. So I think that's like one of the best quests in the game right there. Just how in-depth it is, how far it takes you all over the land, all the cool treasures that you get. I mean, we're locked and loaded with stuff we can go sell and get rid of. Uh, we're gonna go upgrade and all that kind of stuff. A lot of experience, a lot of fun, challenging. No. I mean, that was tricky, guys. Now, I'll be truthful, I died a lot more the first time I played this game. Now I kind of know a little bit of what's coming ahead of time. I'm a little bit um, just our inventory. more prepared. So, what's the first thing I want to do? First thing I want to do is go over here. I hear no one. Adi, have your pick. Any you like. Come again. They're all trouble. Well, first things first, we'll just go turn this quest in, and then I'll do some of this stuff. Upgrade and whatnot. Hey, buddy. Thanks for your help. My thanks again for your aid in the matter of Salomon's grimoire. Seems I've quite a ear for danger as well, eh? Who among you has seen the dragon? Who saw it rage? Salvation and the Knights Champion. I'm so heavy right now. Running so slow. Yeah. <clears throat> now we gotta start thinking about meeting Fidel at night to talk about the conspirators too. He wanted us to do that for him. It's a lady in waiting right there. Be dead. We got a ton of quests we have to do, guys. We'll go turn this one in, and then we'll take care of a bunch of these side quests in the next couple episodes. Um, and we'll get our experience level up, because that was really hard out there. Who are you? Arisen, sir. Beg pardon, sir. Mirabel. I bear a message from Milady Eleanor. She would speak with you, sir, in private, if you please. Some would uh, raise an eyebrow at such a request, given Milady's vows to the Duke. <laughs> I trust. Uh, forgive me, Arisen. I must learn to hold my tongue around proper company. Pray, find me tonight in the Castle Gardens. Okay. Well, that sounds like a whole bunch of trouble we don't want any part of, but we're going to check it out. So, we'll turn this into all this here. We got him all this. Welcome back, sir. Then the Griffin is defeated. Blessed relief that all who walk Grancis roads will rest easier for it. It is welcome news too for trade. You and the others who fought have my thanks arisen. <clears throat> Two twenty-five thousand experience. Woo! Let's see how much gold that was. Okay, guys. We're gonna go. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. When we come back, we're gonna do a bunch of side quests. Take care of several of these. I mean, we've got Rousing Suspicion, Nameless Terror, Idol Worship, Rise of the Fallen, the Conspirators, and then everything else is kind of just a little bit whatever. Further upgrade a weapon that has been strengthened by one part. Okay, anyways. My name's Lucky. The channel's game on. See you guys in the next episode. Later.